Welcome to another maintenance of phone repair. Today I will be demonstrating how to replace a screen on an S5 phone. With that said, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, click on the bell icon and give me the thumbs up. Let's begin. When replacing a screen on a iPhone, first you get your SIM card remover tool and you remove the tray of the, the SIM card. Then before I begin this phone I'll be using it for demonstration purposes only I will not be actually placing a screen on the phone but I will show you all the process to place a screen on the phone first there are two screws at the bottom of the phone you will remove these screws I usually have a magnet at hand or on hand when I'm doing uh, these repairs so I would uh, place the screws on the magnet the other thing you have to keep in mind the screws for this are different sizes so place them where or draw a diagram so when you're putting them back, you'd put them back the same place. You would take your suction cup and you would place it by the home button. Then you would hold your phone and pull gently until you get a, a opening. You have to be very careful because there is a there is a ribbon right here. So you have to be very careful when removing 
screen. The suction cup has, when you put it on this here, you pull it to release it. This is the ribbon. right here you have to be very careful you do not damage this ribbon you take your plastic tool it out and then you open up and you take out this metal plate which the Then you remove the plate. Put it aside. You take your tool again and you start removing the the cables. That is all there is to it. In a previous video, I showed how to replace the battery. Once 
once you get the screen out you have nothing doing with this piece again you put that aside you take your other screen and it depends on how you purchase the screen it may not come with that back plate so you would have to remove the back plate there's screws here you remove the back plate you will remove these components here and place it on your screen this is the fingerprint sensor you'd also remove that but I would advise if you're buying a screen buy the screen complete just for a couple of dollars more because replacing the screen if you just take the best screen by itself and have to be transferring these components you could never tell how long your fingerprint sensor is going to last so just by a complete setup the only thing you may have to do is that back plate it may it may not come with the back plate but just by a complete screen and when setting up you just do the process you did when putting in the ribbons there would be clicking you'd hear a clicking sound that means they're in you get them set up the right way This process is um, ticklish because you have to make sure that you line up everything. So you won't bend anything. Then you put your your plate back.
you have to try to keep the door do not send it back leave it at that angle so you won't rip off the ribbon Since I'm using this phone for demonstration purposes, it's missing a screw there. And it's also missing a pleat down here now the next thing you have to try doing is putting back the bottom cable just remember the S5 has four cables one at the bottom for the fingerprint sensor and the others it has three of them at the top When putting in the cable, you would hear a clicking sound. That means you get it in. Putting in these cables uh, are one of the hardest parts of the whole thing. Then you put the top in first and you slide everything in and it will just click it away through. Then you take the two screws and 
and you place them back to the bottom. To close off everything. And that's all there is in placing a screen on an S5, iPhone S5. If you enjoy this video, if it was helpful, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, and click on the bell icon. Until the next one, bye.